cultural identity expressed and policed or promoted from outside and cultural identity explored and sourced and experienced from the inside. Power, through our democratic institutions, expressed from the outside as to who you hate, who you don't like, what you don't like. I don't like Bob Ray. He brought in the, the Ray days. Get rid of him, whatever, whatever. Ex power expressed through negatives mm -hmm. and smearing and disdaining and the politics we're in now. And power expressed, what we're trying to say is the new politics, you only express the positive things that you believe in. And then people will decide where we go if these politicians or people say, this is who I am, this is the positive, the, now you choose. Rather than choosing the exterior version of that, is your politics are really bad, you're corrupt, you're corrupt, and you're saying to me, your politics are bad, you're corrupt, corrupt. That's the exterior version of choosing whose values or whose agenda then occupies power. I reached way out for that, but I'm trying to understand both in the race gender journey that we're on and in the political gender journey that we're on, why we're in such, why we've allowed ourselves the burning down of Kathleen Wynne and trying to burn down Trudeau as well, as much as his faults, he's a progressive guy, why we let these negative fires roll through the culture and we don't stop them. Uh, you know, look, RH, I gotta admit for anyone who doesn't know it yet, from everything I've said already, I'm a socialist, democratic <laughs> socialist. <laughs> Uh, and so my interpretation of a lot of these movements and a lot of these right-wing reactionary movements is that, is that they are, in fact, coddled and supported uh, by those uh, forces in our society who feel they can benefit economically. I think about the arguments over, over the tar sands, oil patch, uh, whether a pipeline should be built, whether there should be caps on carbon emissions and so on. This is a, an environmentally uh, important argument. It's also an argument that has uh, potentially a grave economic as well as grave environmental consequences, depending on which way things go. Unfortunately, in my personal opinion, there are those who are far more interested in short-term gain uh, from pumping out the hydrocarbons as much as possible and setting them on fire uh, and setting the whole environment on fire. And I'm thinking about all the forest fires, especially in, in Western Canada right now, which are, I think, partly a result of, of the climate change or, or global warming that's a result of our dependence on, on hydrocarbons, um, than, than to try to invest in greener forms of energy and provide employment in making that transition and that investment and moving us away uh, from this uh, extremely perilous, globally harmful reliance on hydrocarbons. So, You're but we just short-term interest. Short-term interest. The negative, the negative behavior, either politically or in terms of my industry in the short term, can make yeah. a lot of money if I Some, just keep drilling. Somebody doesn't want to see their TSE portfolio go down. 